You told us that um, uh, uh, Pellegrino's vision of medicine uh, was primarily, that it was primarily uh, a human endeavor with a moral character. If this is the case, which, which I believe, um, but notions of which have been lost in, in current contemporary uh, medicine, then medicine in, in Pellegrino's vision must be one of us uh, as a science using practice, where science is a tool, a tool of medicine, and should there, and that therefore scientific knowledge should not dominate medicine, but be one of medicine's tools. So would Pellegrino have thought that evidence-based medicine, where medicine is based foundationally on scientific evidence, be a form of tyranny? In that, it would not allow or displace other ways of dealing with human suffering and promoting human flourishing that would come from a wider understanding through other forms of knowledge of the patient's uh, illness in order not simply to cure the disease, but to cure, as you said, Pellegrino was concerned with, to cure all of the aspects of illness, not simply the biological dimension uh, only. What, what, what would he have thought from your own experience? Le voy a contestar de una manera indirecta. Eh, en, un, en un momento eh, de, de su discurso dice eh, que el médico cristiano eh, no puede ser médico y además cristiano, sino un cristiano médico. Ambas cosas son inseparables. Eh, Pellegrino eh, eh, defendió siempre eh, el carácter de la, de la medicina eh, eh, como, digamos, por así, la formando parte integral de la esencia del acto de curar, es inseparable. Lo que ocurre es que frente a la eh, dimensión exagerada o expandida del concepto de curar, de curing, que es lo que se nos enseña en las facultades de medicina, eh, a él no le parecía esto suficiente y entendía que el papel del médico va más allá del mero acto técnico de curar, de lo que entendemos curar, medicamentos, cirugía, sino que eh, el, el, la tradición médica abarcaba a mucho más. Entonces, esta parte que abarcaba, que ha sido el cuidado, eh, él la amplía extraordinariamente. Y entiende que el médico es una profesión que es superior, por así decir, desde el punto de vista de sus valores, sobre la inmensa cantidad de profesiones legítimas que hay. Por eso parte de la idea de que hay una moralidad interna que nace de ese mismo acto médico. De esta moralidad interna, se derivan unos criterios que no solamente son técnicos, también son de valores. Y por lo tanto, y por lo tanto la idea de eh, helping, o sea, de ayuda and healing, sanación más ayuda, eh, son las, es la idea que realmente refleja mejor el papel verdadero del médico de todos los tiempos. Como esto no es la percepción que hoy existe en muchos ámbitos, él, él lo veía críticamente en el mundo americano, la pérdida de los valores, el, el, el deseo del médico de lucro como único fundamento, eh, la dependencia de la, de la cultura del negocio, de, del control del gasto. El control del gasto es perfectamente legítimo, pero no del control del gasto a costa del enfermo. Y tal. Pues él reivindica cada vez más la importancia de los valores y de la idea de helping and healing eh, eh, para eh, aceptar la verdadera interpretación de la idea de médico, de su esencia y de lo que nuestro tiempo tiene que recuperar. No sé si he contestado a su pregunta.
Agradezco mucho la participación post-conferencia, pero el reloj no para. Así que muchas gracias a todos por su asistencia y a conocer mejor la, la figura de Pellegrino a todos. Gracias. Um, well, one of my great heroines of nursing, uh, bearing in mind we've been talking about medicine for most of the last two days, uh, was the matron of St. Thomas's Hospital from 1909 to 1939, and her name was Dame Alicia Lloyd Still, and she was a magnificent woman. And she had uh, a saying which we all as student nurses used to have drummed into us by the ward sisters, and that was, second rate is excellent for the second rate. We have had a first rate uh, two days um, where all of the papers, all of the presentations were up to and beyond the highest standards and all of us have learned. We've worked hard and thank you very much all of you who gave papers. Uh, we've worked hard and we've made progress. I've got one thing to say and it's to uh, really to emphasize something that Lynn talked about yesterday and that's about the fact we have more work to do to get the theory absolutely buttoned down um, before we promulgate. So um, one of the other things we've talked about is the fact that as clinicians we use ourselves as a therapeutic vehicle um, for patients um, and for each other. So I'm going to indulge myself now in trying to uh, use myself to say to you as the president that what I would like to do now is for me personally to say um, a prayer for all of you as you leave. So I'm going to say a prayer. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, whose glory fills the whole creation and whose presence we find wherever we go, preserve all of those who travel. Surround them with your loving care, protect them from every danger and bring them in safety to their journey's end. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And thank you very much. I will tell you just one thing. When I was in Mexico too with, with our, um, our rector of the university, I was lucky to come back in time. He wasn't, I'm sorry. But I'm sure he, there's a strong communion in what I'm going to say. Just one fact. Um, we have been revising the planning of the whole university in order to celebrate our 25th anniversary. So we are a little, a very young university. We are a, an embryonic university compared to Oxford and Salamanca and all that. It, so that in, in 2018, we can celebrate our 25th anniversary, okay? Now, all our programs are now person-centered architecture, nursing, business, a biotechnology. Can you imagine person-centered biotechnology? <laughs> so, so just telling you that, you can imagine the, the honor of having you here, the mm, pleasure of listening this to, to all your discussions, your, your philosophical, theological, practical, epistemological uh, challenges really. So it has been really a pleasure, an honor, and, and a challenge for us and for, for all of us. So since um, the prayer has already been said, I just tell you I, I feel a deep communion with that. And I also, in, in, on behalf of our university, um, Acts and feel strongly that communion and that blessing that we all need. And God bless us all and let us, you know, there's a psalm that says, let the Lord do our enterprises, our works, and then our enterprises will be his and will be good. So let that psalm inspire us and protect us. Thank you very much. Have a nice trip. Back.